every year give a donation to the university. And whatever Cabernet comes off the station is whatever we get. So it's not a price per ton. It's just sort of whatever, whatever we get. And it's interesting that in 2001, we had a fair bit off the Oakville station, and it was gorgeous. In fact, we make another wine called Limited, and in our 30 years of history, we've made 11 vintages of this Limited, which is kind of our hedonist's wine. It's, it's you know, it's unlike the Solo, which you'll have, which is a single vineyard expression, the Limited is a kind of a, kind of a, you know, the, the yummy barrels, right? And in fact, in 01, unusually, quite a bit of the Limited actually came from the Oakville Station. So it was a, that was a great year. Uh, but in other years, uh, you know, you get what you get. Uh, and, but it's, been, it's, it's a fabulous relationship because what they do on site there, for, for me, having 400 acres to farm, is, is, is really cool. And, and for example, three years ago, um, they started a, a native flora cover crop trial to, to look at um, fixing soils. And this is all part of, you know, the Napa River thing that, you know, what, what, what kind of native you know, native uh, flora could you put in between the vines uh, to make sure you didn't have sedimentary runoff get into the river. Because uh, you may know, I mean, we have very young soils in Napa, so vigor is not our problem. You know, we we, we got plenty of that. We're not really interested in doing a lot of nitrogen reintro reintroduction into the soils. We don't need a lot of energy. Well, you know, we kind of need the opposite. So native, you know, native cover crop is a great way to do that. You're not really, they don't, it's not like <coughs> You know, plant sweet pea and you know and, and oats and stuff where you know the nitrogen gets back in the soil. So uh, so it was really great. The, the, you know it's drought resistant. It's you know it's natural and it actually it, it keeps you know runoff run from occurring. And we actually you know stole that right out of their right out of their experiment before they were even finished with it. We were so impressed with, with how that went. Of course you know my dad <coughs> you know who. You know, grows grapes in the Central Valley, where, as he likes to say, the wines are so big, you've got to put them in big bottles. <laughs> uh, you know, he he always accuses me of not really farming. You know, what we do up in Napa is actually gardening. Uh, and you know, I was so excited about describing this, you know, native flora cover crop to him, and I wanted him to come up and see it. And we were looking at it, and he looked at me and he said, "Well, Russ." You know those are weeds, right? <laughs> and that's really what it is, it's basically. But it's the right weeds. It's the right California weeds uh, that, that UC Davis really developed there. And so it's, they, do, do, they do a tremendous amount of good there. And it's a great relationship. And it's, it's our one sort of glorious exception uh, to the you know, proprietor grown rule at, at, you know, at Silverado. So. Good. Well, what do you think of these wines?